Well, hello, my wonderful fire signs, and welcome to your weekly reading. I'm super excited to do your reading this week. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love talking about self-care, and that's what we're going to be talking about this week, is helping you to take another step towards self-care and self-love. This video is for you if you have a sun, moon, or rising in Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, or Sagittarius. So I'm just shuffling this up. I love this deck. This is the self-care oracle, and I'm just asking angels, guides, guardians, ancestors, God, and goddess, what do my wonderful fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, need to know this week about their self-love and self-care? We'll get some more details as well about you this week, but let's focus on self-care, and the card is stop and breathe. Oh my gosh, can you take a deep breath right now? When's the last time you did that? <laughs> We're breathing all the time, but usually it's really shallow. And when we live a life of stress and tension, the breathing not only is shallow, but it gets really uh, fast paced and um, it quickens. And this can actually cause more adrenaline in the body. It causes tension. It causes tension in the muscles and the neck. So roll your shoulders back right now. Just kind of unwind, shake your body out, shake your neck out, take a deep breath. The card says, reality is shaped by what we believe. Take a deep breath, reassess and realign. Let go of what doesn't help this situation. Oh, I love that. You know, very often we talk about letting go of, you know, toxicity or letting go of things that are not working, but you might have some things in your life that are just not helping. Maybe they're not necessarily making things worse but they're certainly not making anything better. We are in a couple of retrogrades right now. It really is a good time to stop and reassess, to rethink, to, to just kind of go back and review. Is this really the direction that I want my life to go in? This is what's so great about retrogrades is that we can't help but to stop and slow down and look around. And we need these times. If we didn't have retrograde energy, we would go flying forward into all sorts of chaos. So this week, air, um, fire signs, you want to take a deep breath. You want to be working on your breathing. You need more oxygen in your body. And when we take a deep breath, it really does put us back into our bodies. It takes us out of the fear of the future. It takes us out of regretting something in the past or still fretting about it. It puts you right here. And right here is the only place that you can be to make a good decision, to make a better decision about yourself, about your world what needs to go, what you need more of. I will tell you that those are two of the most important questions you'll ask yourself. What do I need to stop doing? What do I need to stop engaging in? What needs to leave my life? And what do I need to start doing? What do I need to add to my life? And this is a week where it's going to, like, I almost feel like circumstance is going to create moments for you to stop and breathe. So if something isn't going as fast as you want it to go, if something seems like it's at a standstill, if something's on hold, if you feel like you're in limbo, guess what? It is time for you to stop and breathe. It is not time for you to push and freak out, okay? It's like, what do you, what, is there another step that you can take? Is there something else you can do while you're waiting for things to go along a little bit more? You might be missing something, right? And so the universe will sometimes slow things down for you so that you can just like chill you're missing something. We need you to see the whole picture. We need you to see something more before you go in this direction. We don't want you to miss something. Get all the pieces before you go forward is what I'm hearing. So thank you so much, uh, angels, guides, guardians, um, ancestors. What do my beautiful um, fire signs need to know this week? That's Aries. We're going to go into Leo here. Sagittarius. All right, let's see what's going on with you. Aries, you've got the four of earth. Oh my. I mean, you can even see from the picture. Someone's being a little pig-headed. Is it you? Is it someone you know? This is someone who's being very stubborn, very stuck mentally, very stuck in their ways. This could also be someone who's very controlling, very possessive. They're, um, they're, they're greedy. So this person is literally like stealing money, right? This is like in my embezzlement card. <laughs> Somebody around you just being very uh, non forthright, being very greedy, uh, very selfish. Now, this is probably something, a situation or a person that's around you, and maybe you've been making excuses. You've been saying, oh, it's just, you know, the way it's fine. This is just what happens. Like, you let them off the hook for some reason. But 
we're to this point astrologically in these retrogrades where we just cannot do that anymore. We cannot be making excuses for people. We cannot be settling. This week it's going to be right in front of your face, Aries. I'm sick of being controlled. I'm done talking to people who are not going to compromise. Maybe you've been compromising too much. Right? I can't, I can't, I am not, a, I'm not anyone's possession. And this stubborn energy has got to go. Now, th if this is you, if you're like, I'm the stubborn one, crap, it's me. I'm the one that doesn't want to move. I'm, I'm not budging. I'm, I'm, this is where, I, this is my beliefs. Mm, I put my flag in the, the sand and this is where I'm at. They've got to meet me where I'm at. Really, really, really do a self-assessment. And that mentality doesn't work. Now, you can stay dedicated to your goals, right? You can stay true to yourself, but there might be a situation where either you are over-compromising or you are not compromising enough. And so the card is stop and breathe. If you feel stuck, do you have a belief that is stuck? Do you, is your mind stuck? Are you in a situation where you feel like you have no way out? Do you need an out-of-the-box solution I just want to remind you that nobody ever finds the solution to their problem by focusing only on the problem. Focus on what you want. Make some different decisions this week. And if you are in a stuck, really, like if you're in a situation where you're like, I feel like I am completely controlled, I have no freedom in this, stop and breathe, ask for answers, start looking for answers instead of focusing on the problem. One will come, okay? Um, we've got Leo. We've got the page of Earth here. You are really wanting to look at finances right now. You are like, what is going on with my money? What is going on with my job? What is going on with my investments? Really looking into how to manage your career. Uh, you feel very studious. This is my student energy. You're learning about something, you know, and maybe you've been so focused on money and, um, you know, your, your finances and your career that you're kind of not stopping to smell the flowers. So for you, Leo, it's about stop and breathe, but, but really you need some, you need some pleasure. Where, where's the flavor and the spice and the, 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 you know, the reason for life? Where's the purpose in all of this? Like you might be getting down into the tedious nitty gritty so much that you're forgetting to live, right? You didn't come here to get stuck in a pile of bills. So if you find yourself in a pile of bills, you will find your way out of it. But in the meantime, that's not why you came. You came to taste the food, to feel what nature feels like on the palms of your hands and the, the flat of your feet. You came here to smell all the smells. You came here to see all of the hues of the sunset. You came here to feel what moonlight felt like on your skin. You have came here to have incredible sex and to have amazing like romantic relationships. You came here to feel bliss. So remember the spice of life, Leo, while you are figuring out your finances and your career. Don't lose your passion, okay? So far, my fire signs have a lot of earth here. So we've got a lot of issues with money, finances, kind of being a little stuck in the mud. I feel like stopping and breathing would be a really good idea for Aries and Leo here because you need to kind of reassess, you know, what, what is the point here? Let's look at Sagittarius. Oh, another Earth card. Sag, you're, you're very similar to Leo here where you're studying. Now, I actually feel that this is a very light card, though. I feel like you're studying something that is bringing you some passion. So I like that. So um, this week, grab a good book. What is it that you want to learn more of? You might be doing things to increase your skill set. You might be doing things to just get passionate in what you're studying and what you're reading. This may not have anything to do with your career. This might just be like something else that you like to involve yourself in. Very good advice, actually, for all my fire signs here. Now, Earth is not a negative um, element. I just want to make that clear. But the, the specific cards and the energy that I'm intuiting here is that it's almost too much Earth. Like, you feel like you're just kind of like stuck in the mud or you're kind of stuck in a routine or, you know, maybe you're reading things and studying things that are just, they're not lighting you up. And let me tell you, as a fire sign, wherever this falls in your chart, it is so important that you feel movement in your life. Movement. You got to be moving. So maybe you just start this week by breathing. Maybe it's about taking a walk, moving the body. You know what's free? Body movement. I tell that to everybody. If you're feeling like you're really frustrated with your finances, you're like, I'm locked in. I don't have time. I don't have money. Well, guess what? It's literally no time to move your body right now. Get up from your chair or your bed or your couch and do a forward fold. Stretch out your body. Take some deep breaths. Do a few jumping jacks. Jump up and down. Get a jump rope. 
takes, it, you could do that for like two minutes and feel better. So I think that the main thing here for my fire signs is just deep breaths, um, move, move your body, move around. And while you may not be making big strides, like big decisions this week, I feel like you're looking into it. You're deciding, mm, you know, I, I do need a little bit more. Sagittarius, I, I, I know I didn't spend so much time on you, but, but this is just a week where I'm just going to say you're learning all there is to know about a subject. You might be going back to school. You might be taking a training. This is good. I actually feel like you are moving. But if there's any Sagittarians that also kind of fall in with Aries and Leo energy, go for it. Do something a little different and kind of just reassess where you're at because uh, the reason why life is slowing down, the reason why things seem like they're stopping is because we don't want you to continue in this direction without having a, a perception shift, a belief shift, changing your thoughts, or even your goal. Reassess, what is it that you want out of life, fire signs? It's really important that you get to know that. All right, you guys, I'm sending you so much love and light and everything right for this week. Um, I will see you next week unless you schedule an appointment with me. I will see you sooner. And until then, angel blessings.